Good morning, loved ones. I hope you had a good night's sleep. I actually did, and today it's Gemma's ninth mom, nine months birthday. I had this really optimistic kind of hope that I was gonna be back in the same shape I was before pregnancy on her nine month day. But, um, but I'm not. Damn very annoying <laughs> is what it is uh today it's bikini weather i'm wearing a, a, a black uh, bikini and um i'm gonna take a swim just after the yoga or after my one hour session with patreon because after recording this i'm recording a one hour session for them so if you want more you should subscribe to patreon exclusive there's a link below uh I am very grateful today um, for uh, the, the area where I live. It's so beautiful and the neighbors are amazing. And uh, I just feel so grateful to, you know, wake up close to the ocean. Uh, it's all green. Everyone is super friendly. It's safe. Um, thanks God for that. Uh, I'm also very grateful for um, for, you know having healthy children um that none of them is sick you know that everyone is sprudling of life and uh it's such a gift that it's very easy to take for granted uh, i think we need to get reminded of that you know i keep repeating that but uh, um when we are sick, the only thing we wish for is to be, you know, um, uh, healthy. And when we're healthy, we have a thousand wishes. Um, it's a very good thing to come back to. Um, so now it's it's as long, you know, it's 18 months since I got pregnant and, um, and the, everything changed in my life. <laughs> um, I'm so grateful for Gemma. She's such a she's such a ray of light. She's so lovely. She's really, really a happy little one, and uh, and now she's walking and you know standing all the time. Like today, this morning, she um she managed to stand up on her own, you know, by using you know my knee or something. But she didn't use my hand like she normally does. Um, and she was standing up and she she found her balance, you know, and was balancing for. Her like 30 seconds or something. Yesterday she was balancing for like a minute or more. It's, uh, I think walking is really close. <laughs> and I was like praying that she was gonna be a late walker because we have um, like a marble floor. And I really don't want her to learn, you know, how to walk on that. But it's also really good timing because we are not gonna be home much for the summer. Um, so maybe it's gonna be more like, you know, the grass outside and like uh, decks and so so maybe it's a very good timing actually you know that she'll learn how to walk when we're not in the house um anyways um i was speaking with the kids yesterday and uh and i i, I don't know like I, I am brought up in a very positive attitude my parents are kind of you know doers and they're like you know there's i don't know i i always had like a very positive view of life and um and i was speaking with kids yesterday and uh, uh and they they were like i'm not gonna do that or i don't want to do that like i don't have the courage to i'm like you're right you know either or you know if you think you can do it you will if you think you can't do it that's true too it is about your mindset you know and what we are set to do we can accomplish you know when we decide that we want to do it the, the mindset is extremely powerful and um i've been experiencing this both in in a positive and a negative way uh, i was very uh, accomplished before you know in my 20s I, I got a lot of things that wasn't doable done but at a very high cost so nowadays i try to set goals you know that are not as success oriented but but life oriented, like, you know, I'm, I'm doing yoga every day, um, but I happen to get, you know, followers and subscribers is just like a top 
on top thing. Uh, so I don't try to chase the subscribers. I try to chase, you know, the health benefits of me doing this every day, which is easy to forget. Uh, so that's why I need to talk to you about it because I, I so easily forget that. But um, yeah, you decide, you know, you're going to be right either or. <laughs> it's a good thing to keep in mind. Eh? Now get down on your sitting bones and straighten your back up. Close your eyes and focus on the area between your eyebrows. That's where I look in. We're gonna start taking control over our breath. On the inhalation, feel how your belly is expanding. On your exhalation, drag your belly button towards the spine. Inhale. One more time. And exhale, drag your belly button towards the spine. That, that movement is extremely important in the coming exercise, which is the breath of fire. Because what we do is that we, we're dragging our belly button towards the spine like this. but in a really high, like much quicker. Uh, so we do it for 150 breaths like this. Uh, I'll do the counting uh, in my head. Uh, let's inhale and start. Very good job. Now we're gonna do the hip roll. So, on the inhalation, roll forward. On exhalation, back.
and we're going to switch to fiction. Super. Let's do a twist of the spine. Place your hands on your shoulders on the inhalation. Come to your left. Step a little bit forward. On the exhalation, come to the middle. On the next inhalation, come to your right. Exhale, middle. Beautiful. Try to uh, find your root lock. The, it's like you're activating um, the area around your pelvis, like the area that you activate when you need to pee and there is no bottom around, like you kind of cut it a little bit, lift it up, and then find your mid lock. It's like when you pull the belly button towards the spine and then work up your Kundalini around the spine. Hold your breath. And exhale. Beautiful. We're going to do a short meditation. Close your eyes and focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye looking in your eyes. Let this eye lead you to the area around your heart. In this area, you find an inner room where you're going to spend some time just for yourself. There is nothing that has been and nothing that will come. It's only you in this very moment. Ah, 
Shanti Shanti Could I do palms to your forehead with your fingers while still away? To your mouth for you to speak the truth. And to your heart for you to follow your heart and to be kind to yourself and to other people. Thank you so, so much for today. Remember to go out and give. I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow.